Transaction Processing System, or TPS, is one of the subsystems of AIS. It is considered the heart of AIS because all transactions, such as but not limited to, sales, purchases, payments, and addition of new customers and vendors in the accounting records undergo in this subsystem before it flows to other subsystems, namely General Ledger System and Financial Reporting System, or GLS-FRS, and Management Reporting System, or MRS. TPS has three functions. The first function is the conversion of economic events into financial transactions. If an event is a financial transaction or a non-financial transaction that will trigger financial transactions in the future, TPS captures the relevant data of that event. For example, in a sales order sent by a customer, the relevant data to be collected are customer number, customer name, shipping address, order date, item, price, and total amount. The second function of TPS is the recording of transactions. Once the data are collected from the transactions, TPS record this in the accounting records, such as journals and ledgers. The third function of TPS is the distribution of essential accounting information to operations personnel to support their daily operations. The communication of information can be in different forms, such as printed reports, or information displayed via a computer screen. How does TPS work in a manual accounting system and computer-based accounting system? In a manual system, transactions are handwritten in paper forms or recorded using mechanical devices such as typewriters and bundy clocks. Data processing activities such as, but not limited to, sorting of documents by serial number, summarization of transactions, and posting of transactions to journals and ledgers are done manually. On the other hand, the computer-based system uses applications or software to handle some, most, or all data processing activities. Documents and reports are in digital form. To have a clear picture of the two systems, Company A uses the manual system and Company B employs a computer-based system for their timekeeping process. In Company A, an employee must get his time card on the shelf near the entrance of the company's premises and punches the time card on the Bondi clock to record his time in and time out. At the end of the pay period, a supervisor collects, reviews, and signs the time cards. Then, the time cards are forwarded to the timekeeping personnel to manually calculate the hours worked for payroll. Just imagine the time spent reviewing and calculating the hours work of employees. Company B uses a computer-based system for their timekeeping process. Employees place their fingers on the biometric located at the company's gate to record their time in and time out. The biometric is an electronic device that is programmed and linked to an application or software that records the time in and time out of employees. The application 
automatically calculates the number of hours worked by the employees and generate reports that are needed for payroll. In this example, there is automation, making the timekeeping process efficient. To learn more about Transaction Processing System or TPS, just click the video on the left screen.